How's it going, everyone? Since it is the month of Mocktober, I'd like to give you my personal review of these two Mocktober boots that I've owned for a few years now. The first one is going to be the Red Wing 875 Mocktober boot in oral tan leather, seen on the right. The second one is the Red Wing Irish Settler boot, seen on the left. Now I purchased these boots roughly around the same time. I purchased a Red Wing 875 in 2017 in the Irish Settler not that much long after. I will give you my review of each and how I've worn them and see which one is the better boot for you. Hope you enjoy. The first boot I'd like to review is the Red Wing Heritage 875. This is the men's six inch boot in oral legacy leather. Now, Red Wing Heritage is more of a lifestyle uh, part of Red Wing where they produce uh, boots and shoes uh, that are made in America and are made of high quality full grain leather materials and constructed uh, classically with Goodyear welts. As you can see here, these shoes are beautiful. They just look amazing. They have that lumberjack look. The mock toe is still held up all these years. I've taken care of these shoes. Um, I wear these shoes usually in the winter and the fall since I live in Southern California. Um, so when it is cold, I usually take these out. I don't wear them all the time. There's a good Goodyear 360 degree Goodyear welt as you can see. This is a traction tread outsole. And yes, this sole does wear down kind of quickly. As you can see, it's already starting to show its wear, uh, even though the uppers look still very good. The shoe is priced at $279. And it's made in the USA. The classic mock toe was created by uh, Red Wing in 1952. We have here what they call a Puritan triple stitch, and I believe it's made by a Puritan sewing machine. So they have very old sewing machines that still make this boot uh, to this day. As you can see, the leather is very nice, full grain leather. We also have a full grain leather footbed and we have a cork midsole which is inside the shoe the last on the shoe is number 23 we have nickel eyelets there's no shank in this shoe and the shoe is also resolable we have waxed laces as well and overall this shoe is just it just looks awesome i think it's one of my favorite looking boots out there. All right, guys, let's take a look at the Irish Settler boot made by Red Wing as well. This is a six inch leather safety boot. It is a best selling boot for Red Wing because of its versatility, comfort, and durability. And may I also add is that it looks awesome. This is a full grain trout brook leather. It has a aluminum toe, which meets the ASTM safety standards. It also has an electrical hazard, which also meets the same standards. It has a heat resistant outsole up to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a Goodyear welt, 360 degrees. But as you can see, the welt is made of plastic. This has a removable polyurethane insole and the outsole is rubber EVA traction tread. This boot is made in Vietnam and it costs $159.99. All right guys, now we can compare the two boots and see which boot is right for you. The Irish Settler boot, which is on the left, I purchased for work. 
my work actually provided uh, s safety shoes for us. So I chose the Irish Settler because of how it looked. I always thought mock toe boots looked awesome. So I went, in ha went ahead and purchased it. Uh, what is uh, peculiar is my manufacturing facilities in which I work are all indoors. So these shoes were indoors in a manufacturing suite in which I worked. So they did not see the outdoors like most people use these shoes. Most, most people use these shoes on construction sites, roofing, uh, and the like. But these shoes were indoors. So as you can see, the uppers are... They're broken in, but they're not, they're not really scuffed up that bad. There's a little bit of scuffing here. Um, and the, the laces are a little frayed. But they're just, they're just broken in. What's really interesting is that the outsole of the shoe is pretty much intact. You can even see the texture on the tread as well. So the outsole is pretty much brand new. And I've had these shoes, I believe, since 2017. And I've worn them, worn them for hours and hours on end. So this is a trust. This is also a very comfortable shoe. Um, the insole is nice and wide and it, you know, I wore these shoes for hours on end and my feet did not hurt at all with the insole that they came in. Compared to these boots, the 875 by Red Wing, these are much more firm. The insole is a super thick uh, leather slab and it is a lot stiffer. Um, the leather on this boot is much more firm than this boot. And I've had these boots for since 2017 and I'm, I've worn them mostly in the colder seasons. And I would even say that the leather is not even broken in yet on these shoes. So this is, at least the leather is super high quality. The leather patinas over time and is just an overall super rugged boot. Um, I have to say though that the outsole wears rather quickly. As you can see, it's, it's starting to get a little flat in certain places. So uh, at least these shoes are resolable again and again. So these shoes require a little more care than these shoes, but we have a much better looking boot right here. You can see some differences other than the color of the boot. Um, the Irish Settler has cushioning up here. It's a little worn, worn down just from wear, but we have some cushioning. Uh, we have this, the stitching right here is a little different. This panel is a little different from this. This is one huge panel while this has multiple panels uh, stitching for reinforcement across here. We have the Irish Settler, as you can see right here. We have a plastic welt versus a leather welt. Um, this has a pull tab, while these Red Wings do not have a pull tab. We also see uh, on the outsole itself, um, we have a leather, oh, not leather, we have a rubber outsole. So this is gonna wear a lot longer than this one. Well, this is this is all one material from the bottom to all the way up to to the well is looks like one material. Well, this has a much harder material and then a softer material. So these Irish settlers will last longer in terms of the sole. What uh, the unfortunate thing about these Irish settlers is that the eyelets actually cause fraying on my laces. So I've had to replace the laces before. I, I did not have the problem on these uh, Red Wings. So in conclusion, I would say if you are working and doing construction, I would choose the Irish Settlers. They're super comfortable to wear. Um, they have all those safety requirements. They have the safety toe. You know, they have a heat resistant outsole. Uh, there's comfort inside the lining here. Uh, there's comfort along the side here. They're a little cheaper 
$159, while the Red Wings are more for style. Um, you can work in these shoes, but they're pretty expensive, $279. The outsole will wear out a little quicker. Uh, the footbed is pretty hard. It still takes, you know, a while for, for them to be broken in. Uh, they're overall a stiff boot, but a very handsome boot. And just to, to wear, it looks, it looks awesome. So let me know what you guys think of the video, which boot you would choose. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.